We didn't get the results we wanted last night. The intersection of disinformation, racism, and sexism won the battle. But we will win the war if we don't allow disappointment to linger too long. Because the hour is even more urgent and the work will be very difficult. We must keep fighting for full equality. Now stay with me and I'll share with you what that looks like. Hello, everybody. I am attorney Augustus Corbett, one half of the Defiant Lawyers. Each and every week, we bring you at least one legal analysis of some trending story regarding politics, policies, personalities, or pop culture to empower you with the information you need to defy this unjust legal system and to nullify systemic racism. If that interests you, and it sure should in this hour, please like, share, comment, subscribe, and click the bell so you'll get notified every time we upload one of these videos. Before we get into this, please visit amazon.com, grab a copy of my book, Education and Justice, where I teach you the many ways that the public school system mistreats African-American males and what you can do about it. Trust me, you will appreciate the fact that I encourage you to go and get a copy of this book. All right, now, I got just sort of a short statement that I just want to share with you about last night's results. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get into that. All right. So I just want you to rest assured that my opposition to Trumpism remains steadfast because of its racism, its white nationalism and its authoritarianism. I've warned the nation about the dangers of the MAGA movement and I'm prepared to challenge it in court, in Congress, and through citizen action. I believe Trumpism threatens America's future, especially for us African-Americans, especially us. And my stance is clear. My stance is based on Trump's history of racism, of fascist rhetoric, of alliances with extremists, and most importantly, the testimony of his former officials, like former Vice President Mike Pence and Mark Milley and Mark Asper, just to name a few. The existential dangers of a second Trump administration are real. His record of political threats, his willingness to use the military against American citizens, and his chaotic leadership demand vigilance on our part. The slogan, Make America Great Again speaks volumes. America has never been great for African Americans. To us, this slogan signals a desire to return us to a darker era, Jim Crow, or even worse. But in the words of Vice President Harris, we won't go back. And we take Trump at his word. We believe he will pursue Project 2025 Agenda 47, and that GOP platform, all designed to harm especially African Americans. The Defiant Lawyers Network and the Lazarus Law and Justice Project remain committed to challenging this unjust legal system and dismantling systemic racism. Our mission hasn't and will not change because it's more urgent now than ever. Now, let me speak directly to black women, my sisters. I recognize the pain many of you feel after this election because I feel it too, right here in my heart. Because an increasing number of black men rejected and demeaned our sister. Instead of supporting a woman with her credentials, they decided to support a white supremacist, a man who insulted and cussed Vice President Harris on numerous occasions. Listen, as a proud girl dad and the husband of a beautiful black woman with natural hair for over 36 years, I honor the resilience of black women. I see your strength. 
how you often stand in the gap for the same men who often turn their backs on you. As an attorney, I have witnessed firsthand you reaching out to our office and many times covering the legal costs for your sons, your boyfriends, your husbands. And to the black men who supported Trump, thankfully, exit polls show that most black men did not abandon our community. They stood by Vice President Harris. However, more of you black men in a certain age voted for Trump in this election than in 2020. Please understand that your choice enables Trump and MAGA to further damage our community. Trump will put more anti-black judges on the bench. He will defund black history. The reparations movement is virtually dead, at least for now. He will not put more jobs in our community or send checks or any other tangible. You've been misled and you've been fed disinformation to believe Trump has your best interests in mind. He doesn't. Trump is a white supremacist. And soon you'll see him use law enforcement in the courts against you, brothers. I've fought for many of you in court as men just like Trump sought to destroy your lives. While some of your frustrations are, are valid, since, again, men, racist men like Trump target us with systemic racism. I get it. But attacking Vice President Harris and supporting this white supremacist, that was not the answer. Black men, you will suffer the most under Trumpism. Did you forget or did you not know that he claimed crime originates in the black community and he vowed to give police prosecution immunity to rein that crime in that he says we commit disproportionately? Who do you think he is targeting those comments to? Primarily you. One last thing, young brothers. Please be cautious of black and white content creators who present themselves as pro-black, but encourage you to vote for Trump or vote the couch. These pro-black imposters are often paid by Russia, right-wing billionaires, or other seedy characters. So let me say thank you for all those of you who have stood with the Defiant Lawyers Network and the Lazarus Law and Justice Project. Thank you for your donations. Thank you for purchasing my book because everything we do is out of a genuine love for black people. Now, listen, the days ahead will undoubtedly be challenging for our community as Trump and MAGA work to protect white supremacy. Nevertheless, let's prepare for the next phase of both black resilience and black empowerment. I will release a video soon that outlines our opposition plan to Trumpism. Oh, you know I got a plan. And if you want to support our efforts, please visit LLJP.org and donate. And remember this scripture. We're troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. 2 Corinthians 4, 8 and 9. Now, stay tuned for the next video. I am Attorney Augustus Corbett, one half of the Defiant Lawyers. Again, stay in this fight. We may have lost the battle, but we will win the war. That's because the moral arc of the universe always bends towards justice. That's the way God created it. Peace.